How did the US and USSR get their atomic bombs? Why do you say that India is the only nation that has an independent nuclear program? I have indeed said that and you are right. You should ask the question. Why do I say that India is the only nation that independently developed a nuclear weapons program? Does it mean everybody did it independently? Let's figure out. So let's begin with the US. How did the US acquire its atomic bomb? It's called the Manhattan Project. So in the beginning of the 20th century, you had a revolution in physics. There were some... See, at the, at the end of the 19th century, it was believed that physics could predict everything. It could answer everything. You want to know when Halley's Comet will come? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1910, then 1986. And then keep calculating. You could know it. You want to know what is the speed of, of sound in helium? Well, you can... the. the you, you can, uh, physics can tell you exactly what the sound of sound, speed of sound in helium is to three decimal places. Uh, you want to understand electromagnetism? Well, physics will tell you exactly. Maxwell's equations will tell you every, everything you need to know about electricity, magnetism, and how they interact and how they are, how they are the, uh, a single force, essentially. Everything you could imagine, you could predict and explain through physics. But then some cracks appeared in physics. And that was the black body prob problem, the ultraviolet catastrophe and so on. And then we discovered that, you know, there's something called the atom. There's something called the atom. Atoms, nobody be believed in atoms until 1905, when Einstein wrote his paper about the full photoelectric effect. And eventually, long story short, this gave rise to the development of quantum mechanics. And then the discovery of radiation, x-rays, 18, 1894, 1895, whatever, Rongen, Rongen the German dentist, his wife's uh, hand, and so on. So then you discover radioactivity. Radioactivity is a spontaneous decay of, atom, of, of certain atoms, uranium, and so on. And then physicists realize that you do some stuff with radio, radioactivity, it, it causes a chain reaction. And theoretically, it can give you unlimited energy. But a runaway form of energy, it's something you can't control. And then we, very quickly, they put two and two together and said that if you have sufficient quantity, a sufficient quantity of such fissile material like uranium, it will just spontaneously explode in a nuclear explosion but then such you needed you needed highly purified uranium for that more than 90 percent 95 percent purity for that that's called weapons grade uranium so how do you acquire that and blah 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 so that's what the manhattan project was all about uh, j robert oppenheimer was put at the head of the uh, head of the manhattan project it was a highly secretive operation and it went on for quite some time. They acquired tremendous quantities of uranium ore from Africa and they purified it and they had to do a lot of, you know, physics that had not been done before. And eventually they, they tested the Trinity explosion in Nevada or wherever it was. There was the first explosion. So the US atomic bomb was entirely indigenous. They, obviously they brought in the best scientists from the world, Enrico Fermi and uh, Feynman and Oppenheimer and so many more, so many more. Who all, who all worked together on the atomic uh, bomb project. And that's how they were able to test the bomb, first in Nevada and then in Hiroshima and Nagasaki and so on. We know that. Now, when the Manhattan Project was going on, it was a highly secretive operation, but there were spies. There were spies in the Manhattan Project. Okay? Uh, the Rosenbergs and... Uh, I, I forget the names. You can look it up, okay? Espionage on the Manhattan Project. So once the Soviets got to know that the Americans have, they also had excellent scientists, excellent physicists, the Soviets, okay? So the Soviet Union had excellent physicists and they came to know that the Americans have already done this. So, so they started developing their own uh, atomic weapons, nuclear weapons program. And they indulged in espionage. They had spies who were working for them in the US. And the spies brought in a lot of information stolen information from the US. And that accelerated the Soviet program. So the Soviet program was kind of partially indigenous and partially stolen from the US through espionage. So the Soviets test their atomic bomb and the Soviet Union becomes the second nuclear weapons power. And that gives rise to the nuclear race, the arms race and uh, all that. Now, then what happens? The Soviets at that time had extremely friendly relations with China. So they helped China develop their atomic weapons, atomic energy and nuclear weapons program. They gave a lot of know-how. They gave a lot of technological, technical assistance. The Chinese had access to uranium 
which the Soviets did not have. So the Soviets wanted Chinese uranium. In exchange for Chinese uranium, they gave know-how to the Chinese to make the Chinese nuclear weapon. Some of the Chinese uranium came from Aksai Chin. Do you know why Aksai Chin is so important to China? Do you understand why? And so on. So the Soviets helped China develop the Chinese nuclear bomb. So the Soviets got their some certain non-trivial percentage of information and know-how from the US and they passed a lot of that on to the Chinese. Now the British, they also got some assistance from the US. They helped the French. The French also got some assistance from the US. Maybe negative assistance, but they still offered assistance. What is negative assistance? What is negative help? It means the Americans will tell the French, we won't help you develop it, but we'll tell you what doesn't work. So you'll not waste your time in the wrong directions. That also helps. So the British nuclear weapons program and the French nuclear weapons program was also assisted by the Americans. The Israeli nuclear weapons program, it was strongly assisted by the French. The French gave a lot of help to the Israelis in developing their nuclear weapons. And the Israelis maybe got some uranium from South Africa and so on. Uh, there was a South African angle, angle also in this. The Pakistanis, their nuclear weapons program is either Chinese or American. I think their nuclear warheads are most likely American nuclear warheads. So that leaves, leaves us with India. Did India get any assistance from anybody? No. And that's the end of the story. I, th I hope that answers your question. And you can look, look all of this up. You can fact check everything I said. Look it up. I, I invite you all. I encourage you all to fact check what I just said. Look it up.